what if I told you that inside that house live two boys who star in one of the most popular videos on the internet ever? What? And they're only nine and 11 years old. Can you recognize these two? <gasps> oh my God. Charlie Bip and Vika! Oh my God! Oh my God, they're old! Charlie Bip me! It's the Charlie Bip me kids! Charlie! How Yo, it's taking me back. Charlie they are cute, man. They are pretty cute. This short clip featuring one-year-old Charlie and his <gasps> older brother, Harry, has had millions of views online. More than 815 million people have seen this I didn't this realize it had that many views. views. Eight years ago by the boy's dad. Obligatory, I feel old. Howard only ever shared his video because the file was too big to send to friends over email. And the rest <laughs> is internet. Oh my gosh, history. times have changed. Not taking music videos into account, Charlie's cheeky moment is the biggest viral hit on YouTube. What do you mean not the including man, music videos? Vivo is extremely important. The boys have even appeared in adverts. Since that video landed online, Charlie and Harry both have two younger brothers to share their success with. Wait, are they still making videos? A bit older, this 57 second video will most likely be viewed one billion times. It's crazy. A billion. Oh my God. Wow, that's crazy. They're old men now. So how does seeing those boys today, all these years later, make you feel? I feel like old as dust. Wow, I'm f***ing old. That tripped me out a little bit. It's so weird, because you just like see them as that one thing, and then they're real people with real lives. So the boys say they like the video, but they find it odd that so many people have watched them. Do you think as they keep getting older, their thoughts about this is going to change? No, I mean, I think they're always going to think it's a bit weird. As they get older, they're just going to find it more hilarious that people actually watch that so many times. It's not like it's a super embarrassing video. It's not like the kid shit his pants or something, and the other brother started eating it. You know, it's just biting on a finger. I'm sure it's a little surreal real because they're they're thinking that's us why do they why do these guys want to see us so many times down the road they're gonna realize it's this precious moment do you remember the first time you watched charlie bit my finger i do it was like one of those first youtube videos you got like on myspace and i watched that video a million times just like everyone else did everyone was quoting it and showing each other i remember seeing it and people being like this is the most this video's crazy. It's gotten a hundred billion views. And watching me like, really? Somebody's like, you haven't seen Charlie bit my finger? And I was like, that sounds so weird. What is it? I saw it when it was already old news and people were dropping it in cultural references. And I'd be like, yeah, I know, right? What the hell is that? What was YouTube like eight years ago compared to now? Man. It was a whole different world, bro. It definitely Facebook. used to be a little bit more of a, like a, a house party. Mm -hmm. And now it's turned into a big kind of industrialized nightclub. I just remember thinking it was like where you'd go to see like weird videos. People weren't like making businesses on YouTube. I remember when I first started doing YouTube, the most subscribed person was Brookers. And she had 20,000 subscribers and I thought it was the biggest deal ever. I don't believe there was a, there was a partner program back then. I'd say the number one thing that's changed on YouTube is the fact that like now all the videos look so good, it's very hard to compete with. So YouTube is celebrating its 10th anniversary this year. That is crazy! What were you doing 10 years ago? 10 years ago, I think I was just joining MySpace. I was in third grade. I was 11, so I wasn't on YouTube, but I still was making videos 10 years ago. I'll tell you what I was doing. I was not getting kissed in high school. That's for sure. I was uploading songs on MySpace trying to be a famous rapper. I was graduating from college and scared shitless about the next year of my life. I was a freshman in college. I wanted to be a singer. And now, I'm the worst kind of singer. I was moving from Chicago to Los Angeles to uh, do be an actor and study comedy. I was playing music and playing shows. I, I had a, a couple of videos up on YouTube at the time, but I didn't understand the power of them. And what was the moment that you decided, oh, I'm gonna start using YouTube? Um, YouTube, for me, somebody was like, oh, there's a girl in the UK, her name was Lauren Luke, Panacea81, and she was selling makeup online, but she would do tutorials to show you how to use the makeup. And I was like, I'm gonna be the US version of her. It started off as like, I just needed a, a platform. I wanted to make little sketches and, and parodies and skits with my family and friends. I sent videos of me performing to my parents, and then I saw videos of other people singing the same songs as me, but in their bedroom, and I thought that was freaking weird. And so then I uploaded Miranda videos as a joke. My friends and I at the time, we were like amateur like filmmakers. We ran out of bandwidth on our website. So I was like, yo bro, 
Um, you can put our, our movies on this YouTube website and then, you know, we don't have to worry about the bandwidth. I first got into YouTube because my best friend Grace Helbig was doing it. I didn't know there was a business aspect of it at all. Was there a moment that you remember of when YouTube changed for you from just being something you were doing as a hobby to realizing this was could be something bigger? Um, I think it, I realized YouTube was bigger than I thought it was when I uploaded a video of me and my cousins dancing to Hannah Montana. <laughs> I just thought it was crazy that that many people found my Hannah Montana dancing video. The first time I saw Lazy Sunday, I think that's when I realized, holy moly, videos can spread like wildfire. Miranda had existed online for a year and a half before a video went viral. And back then that meant like 70,000 views. And I think it was probably a year more after that when I finally realized like, oh, people do this. Like people upload videos and it's a job. The first video that ever, I guess, went viral for me was this Michael Jackson medley. And if you could get people to follow you, then you could find some way of turning that into a living for yourself. I got an email from him about you guys. I had made a YouTube video called The Picture Song, and you guys were like, this is great. That's how I got into YouTube. I still have that email, by the way. I still have that email, too. And could you ever have imagined that YouTube would grow into what it is today? Um, yeah, I can imagine it. The world was kind of waiting for something like that. I figured it would be something huge. I just didn't think it would be something huge for me. I knew what I wanted to do, you know? I just, I had no idea YouTube was gonna be the tool that helped me gain my audience. Absolutely not. I never in a million years thought it could be a sustainable career. Absolutely not. This, this is crazy, and it's still crazy to me that not everyone knows what it is. When I uploaded my first Miranda video, if someone said, hey, like six, seven years from now, you're gonna be making money doing this, and you're gonna love it, and it's gonna be your full-time job, I would laugh in their face. I, I made Miranda videos making fun of people who thought that. Do you still feel, though, that there is some stigmas and stereotypes about content on YouTube despite how big it's gotten? Absolutely, absolutely, and it's gonna take a heck of a lot of time for those those stereotypes to, to go away. My friends will be like, oh, are you still uploading your little videos to YouTube? And I'm like, my little videos? This is my life. I think most people think of YouTube as a place to watch viral videos of cats and kids biting their brother. I don't think most people think like YouTube can be a career still. I think the stereotype about like, oh, everything on YouTube sucks goes for TV too. I think for every Catfish, which is a great show, you have 500 million terrible shitty shows. YouTube veers a little younger, and I think everyone's catching up. There's like people making books and people making whole businesses, like you guys and Michelle Phan. Definitely one thing in people's mind now, which I think wasn't in their mind five years ago, is that this is a person who actually has real fans online because of their YouTube videos. But also, because Vine's all new, um, the YouTubers are like, what is this Vine thing? Like, what What do you guys, only six second videos? Like, pfft, is that it? You know what I'm saying? Where it's like, almost like we've taken on the role of the traditional media and we're like, pfft, what is this shit? So back to the video, this channel has continued to upload over the years, but it hasn't really worked. Why do you think people that get accidental viral fame have mostly struggled to maintain an audience on YouTube? Because nothing's gonna top the first time. It's lightning in a bottle. You can't recreate that. You have this video that like kind of propels you, right, in front of everybody, in front of the world, but at the same time, that's the only thing they want to know you for. When you have something that kind of explodes like that, kind of like a song or like a one-hit wonder, it gets a lot of attention, and then they kind of forget. Whereas like if people build a following, they're building like a, a loyal group of like friends. One video can't really do that. So finally, YouTube's hit this milestone, 10 years of this website. Can you talk about what YouTube means to you and what it's done for your life? Yeah, I've been doing YouTube since I was 12, so it's definitely shaped my life. I feel like YouTube was a dream I never dreamed that came true for me. YouTube for me has been uh, the key and unlocking the doors that I wouldn't be able to open for the life of me. Completely would be how I would describe it's changed my life. Music was, was always something that I had a passion for, but I, I didn't think I would be able to make a living off of it. Oh my God, you're gonna get me all emotional. Growing up, I always wanted to make a change in kids' lives, and now I get to make a change in kids' lives every single day just by like uploading videos and making them laugh. YouTube has created a life for me. Without YouTube, I'd probably be like an elementary school teacher, and that is terrifying. So, thank you, YouTube. Thanks so much for watching this episode of YouTubers React. Make sure you help support the show and everybody below by subscribing to everybody. There's more fun waiting for you all below here. Bye, guys. Bye! Bring on the next 10 years! Woo!